गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू टूडे द टॉपिक ऑफ द क्लास इज डेवलपमेंट ऑफ फीमेल जेनाइटल सिस्टम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ओवरी ओवरी विच इज फीमेल गॉनेट बिकॉज द जम सेल्स आर प्रोड्यूस्ड हेयर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन द लास्ट क्लास दैट अप टू द सेवेंथ वीक ऑफ इंटर यूट्राइन लाइफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ गॉनेट इज सेम इन मेल्स एंड फीमेल्स so we can differentiate that uh, is it ovary or testis up to this stage that's why this stage is called as indifferent stage of gonad development so what happens in this stage in indifferent stage of the gonad development first of all there will be formation of uh, urogenital ridge by intermediate mesoderm first of all on the posterior abdominal wall intermediate mesoderm form a longitudinal elevation that is called as urogenital ridge this urogenital ridge is produced and on medial side of the urogenital ridge gonadal ridge is formed here you can see the mesonephric region and on the medial side of the mesonephric region there is genital ridge in this diagram here this uh, green hole part is the urogenital region and this on the medial side of the urogenital region this is gonadal ridge this gonadal ridge is produced by proliferation of the coelomic epithelium and underlying mesenchyme this gonadal ridge is here and this gonadal ridge will proliferate and it will send finger like extensions into the underlying mesenchyme and these finger like extensions are known as primary sex cords so these primary sex cords are formed due to proliferation of the coelomic epithelium and in the uh, in different gonad has been divided into two parts outer cortex and inner medulla so this is the in different stage what hap- what is happening in this stage on the posterior abdominal wall gonads are developing in the lumbar, lumbar region and intermediate mesoderm forms the longitudinal elevation that is urogenital ridge on the medial side of the urogenital ridge gonadal ridge or the genital ridge is formed and it is formed by due to proliferation of the coelomic epithelium this will proliferate and form single like as finger like extensions into the mesenchyme that is called as primitive sex cords these uh, primitive so- uh, sex cords are embedded with the primordial germ cells so primordial germ cells will embedded into these sex cord cells and these sex cord uh, they will extend into the medulla now they are called as medullary sex cords here we can see this is the hind gut dorsal mesentery of the hind gut and this one is the urogenital region and on medial side of it this is genital ridge and pinkish are uh, structures are the sex cords and into the sex cords these primitive uh, this these primordial germ cells are going and uh, they are embedded into the sex cords now what uh, this stage of indefinite stage is uh, up to the 7th week of intrauterine life now we come to the definitive stage of the development of gonad this is after 7th week of intrauterine life we know the genotype of the female is xx that uh, there is no sry region now this uh, will stimulate the medullary sex cords and these medullary sex cord will degenerate and they will form the they are replaced by the stroma vascular stroma and this vascular stroma form the medulla of the ovary so what is happening in this uh, stage these sex cords uh, uh, medullary sex cords will gets degenerated and they are replaced by vascular stroma which is forming the medulla of the ovary now the coelomic epithelium the coelomic epithelium continues to proliferate and it will form the secondary sex cords and these secondary sex cords or the second second uh, second generation sex cords are called as cortical sex cords these Uh, sex cords uh, are extending only up to the cortex region so they are called as cortical sex cord cells now these cortical sex cords are also fragmented or they are broken down and they are arranged in form of cluster 
uh, and uh, in the center of the cluster primary primordial germ cell is arranged and which is surrounded by follicular cells primordial germ cell will form ovonia or the oocyte and uh, follicular cells are derived from the sex cord cells cortical sex cord cells of which are uh, arising from the coelomic epithelium so this is the definitive stage in which medullary sex cords will degenerate and they will be replaced by vascular stroma which is forming the ovarian medulla now these secondary sex cord cells are formed by proliferation of the coelomic epithelium and uh, these sex cord cells break to form the cell clusters in the in the cell cluster in the center is occupied by the primord, uh, primary oocyte or the oocyte and uh, periphery at the periphery follicular cells are arranged and this uh, these cell clusters are called as primordial follicles thus the cortex of the ovary is formed now how the primordial follicle is forming the in the center it is occupied by the oogonium and at the periphery it is uh, surrounded by follicular cells which are arising from secondary sex